Hello, my name is Latrice Burleson and I am with the Instructional Materials and Implementation Division at TEA. This presentation is intended to provide an overview of allotment disbursement requests. What is an allotment disbursement? An allotment disbursement is a request of payment submitted by the district or charter that will be pulled from their allotment and sent to the district electronically to pay for instructional materials, technological equipment, or technology services. The allotment disbursement request process. A local education agency submits a disbursement request. Funds are deducted from the LEA's allotment in EMAT. TEA reviews the request and contacts the LEA for additional information if needed. If approved, TEA sends the funds electronically to the LEA within 7 to 10 business days. The LEA orders directly from the vendor and pays the vendor directly. Districts and charters can also use the allotment disbursement process to get reimbursed after the district has made a purchase. Submitting requests as a reimbursement may be risky because the request may not get approved and the district or charter will have to find other funding to cover the cost of the item or service. There are three disbursement request types, instructional materials, technological equipment, and technology services. On the EMAT training page of the TEA website, there are detailed trainings for each disbursement type. Information about what goes in each type can be found on the Technology and Instructional Materials allotment page of the TEA website on the top of the main Instructional Materials webpage. Allotment Disbursement Request Statuses Next to every allotment disbursement you have created, there is a status. The status will let you know where your disbursement stands in the submission and approval process. In progress, the disbursement request has been saved or reopened, but not submitted. Submitted. The disbursement request has been submitted to TEA for approval. Approved. The disbursement request has been approved by TEA. The funds will be sent electronically to the LEA within 7 to 10 business days after approval. Allotment Disbursement Request TAC When TEA reviews allotment disbursements, we are comparing your items and services to the Texas Administrative Code, Chapter 66.1307, Subsections F and G. Specifically Allowable Items and Services Instructional Materials both adopted and non-adopted, technological equipment that contributes to student learning, training staff and the use of either of the above, providing access to technological equipment for instructional use, salary or other expenses of an employee who provides technical support for the use of equipment directly involved in student learning, inventory software or systems for storing, managing, and accessing instructional materials, and software for analyzing the use and effectiveness of instructional materials. Specifically prohibited items and services. Services for installation, the physical conduit that transmits data such as cabling, wiring, and electricity, office and school supplies, travel expenses, Items not directly related to student instruction such as furniture, athletic equipment, extension cords, temporary contractors, or video surveillance equipment. Equipment used for moving or storing instructional materials. On the TEA website, on the top of the main instructional materials webpage, there is a link to the Technology and Instructional Materials Allotment. At this link, you can find examples of allowable and non-allowable expenses. Creating Disbursement Requests 
To create an allotment disbursement, you will log into Teal and choose the EMAT application. On your district start page, click on Allotment Disbursement in the EMAT box. Click the next link on line 1 to create a new allotment disbursement request. If this link is not available, you will need to complete your prerequisites. After clicking Next, a disbursement type box will appear, where you have a choice of three types of disbursements to choose from. Instructional materials, technological equipment, and technology services. You can find examples of allowable and non-allowable expenses of each type on the TEA website under Technology and Instructional Materials Allotment. After choosing a disbursement type, click OK. Click the magnifying glass to choose a disbursement category. Once you've selected a disbursement category, a new row will display. Choose from the options provided by drop-down menus and magnifying glasses. All other fields are open so that you may enter text as needed. Carefully check disbursement requests before submitting. Review the trainings for each disbursement type to know what information should be entered in each field. Navigating disbursement requests. Additional rows are required when you have more than one ISBN that you are entering a request for. The only times you can have multiple items on one row is if you are requesting funds for a package, bundle, science materials, or multiple novels. To add additional rows, click the plus sign at the end of the row. To remove rows, click the minus sign at the end of the row. Blank rows must be deleted before the request can be submitted. To add additional categories, click the plus sign next to the disbursement category. For example, if you have submitted a request for instructional materials, that will be one category. If you are requesting to receive funds for the freight charges, you will add a second category. To remove categories, click the minus sign next to the disbursement category you need to delete. Blank categories must be deleted before the request can be submitted. In the View Print Options box, there are two links that will appear. The View Print Disbursement Summary link. This document can be printed and sent to your finance, curriculum, and technology departments so they are fully informed. In the View Payment Information link. This link will only appear once the disbursement request has been paid. Disbursement requests are paid electronically to the district or charter within 7 to 10 business days from the date of approval. If we have questions about a request or if changes need to be made, we will contact you by email. Click the In Progress Transaction ID to make the requested changes. Be sure to click Save Work as you add information to your disbursement request and before you certify and submit. If you have any questions or need assistance, please visit the Instructional Materials webpage or you can submit an Instructional Materials Help Desk ticket.